Okay, guys, history is being made at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a gloomy but beautiful now. It is a Wednesday afternoon, something like that, somewhere around September 28, 2022. The three year dream is being realized today. Uh, <laughs> I want to send a huge thank you out to uh, Brother Basil for this very kind gift the gator that uh <laughs> i got it through uh i got it from the road up to here so now we are loaded down with dead hemlock trees so we are cranking up the fossil fuels to move some dead hemlock trees all right wish me luck guys here it goes Putting fossil fuel slaves to work. All right, little dog, are you ready to put fossil fuel slaves to work? This is a steep, wet, slippery slope. We're heading up. Maybe I'll just go straight like this. I went around earlier. We're gonna go. Oops. Well, that's the problem. There's all of these. Tire poppers. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go to this is where eventually we're gonna build a road for gas sucking trucks to get up. It was supposed to be built last week, but all right. This is the route I took. We took our maiden voyage without any cargo. A few minutes ago. All right. We got the fossil fuel slaves at work. What do you think, little dog? Hey, Pop, I don't know about this. We are heading up the piney woods where we are. The third tiny house going up in piney woods. And as Brother Alistair can tell you, it is a hell of a walk up this hill, carrying all of this shit up this hill. And it is much more pleasant trip with uh, ah! fossil fuel slaves. Yes, making it to those two stumps. All right. Give it some gas. Here we go. Man, you gotta love those fossil fuels. What do you think, little dog? I can't drive the final of all these little bitty ass trees, but I'm like, cut the little trees off and then they'll pop the tires so uh, I'm gonna call it right right about here what do you think little dog is that beat uh, going up and down that hill all right that was the easiest time I have ever had carrying five two by fours up that hill so anyway uh, the tiny house in piney woods is coming along <laughs> good lord we've got the floor and the outline in now brother Alistair has already helped me move these giant windows up here i mean every bit of this every single bit of this that you see was carried up here the vast majority by me uh, i just carried this damn load of <laughs> i just carried this load of wood up here the past couple of days and uh i'm just about done with it so uh we got the 
fossil fuel slaves to work. I want to send another big thank you out to Brother Groot for doing this fine limbing job. So, uh, let's look at the view. This will be the view from the new tiny house. This will be the the view from the front deck of the brand new tiny house. That's the other one down there. You can't see it. Oh man, and I have got some serious planet nibbling to do. All through here I'm going to take out 200 trees probably. These little bitty trees. But anyway, in due course but it is coming along and my job just got a hell of a lot easier. Once again, Brother Basil, I love you, brother. <laughs> this damn gator is, if not saving my ass, it's saving my back. I highly encourage anybody to get out there and enjoy your fossil fuel slaves while you still can. Because <laughs> it could be a horse and buggy dragging these dead hemlock trees up here before we know it. My guy.